What's up guys, Mighty Bad here and I'm coming at you with another car boot sale pick up. Pretty busy, the car boot sale, uh, I picked a lot of stuff, sadly no figures this time, uh, compared to the other time that I showed you where I picked up those guys, um, that guy, and that guy. But yeah, uh, plenty of games, well, plenty of DVDs and some other cool little things I picked up. So I'm just going to go right in and show you uh, what I got because I have so much to show off this time. Um, <clears throat> really tired today. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to do a video or not because I was dozing off. But yeah, I got the energy now. So let's get into this. First of all, PlayStation 1, X Men Mutant Academy 2, or X Men 2 Mutant Academy, whatever way you want to do it. Um, <coughs> picked up this game really cheap and it was complete. Top, and then I picked up Populous, and the case was in good condition, and it was complete. And an added little bonus that actually came with let me get it out. This uh, the the PC version of the game so that was quite nice. Uh, let's see, where to start? Uh, I picked up a load of PlayStation 2 games, I mean a lot. Um, <coughs> I'll show you some of them. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what way to do this, guys, because I've got things lying everywhere at the moment. Um, okay. Actually, yeah. So, I picked up uh, Hamster Heroes. <coughs> Sorry for the lights reflecting off, it's a bit weird, guys. I don't understand uh, how the light is annoying my... Uh, camera and this was complete. Um, Van Helsing, a woman was selling her PlayStation 2 games for 20p each. 20 very, very good. And he was complete. Van Helsing's a great game. Uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted. I actually picked up like 10 of these and it was only like what, two quid, so. Sorry, two pounds. So that's pretty good. Uh, driven to destruction, and that was complete. Just cause, complete. And I'll get these other ones. So the PlayStation Three games are out of the way. Uh, <coughs> Snake of Two, complete. Herdy Gerdy, never heard of it, maybe some of you guys out there know what it is. Didn't have a manual, but it came with the disc, which is the most important part, and 20 pence, you can't really complain if you've got a manual. Uh, Rayman M, multiplayer, never played it, that was only a disc as well. I'm kind of lenient because I thought if it's 20p, I mean it's not like the, the worst thing in the world. I mean I've bought, bought gated PS2 games at what, 5 quid and stuff and they haven't come from anywhere. Uh, Crash Insanity, which is a Platinum. I don't think this is one of the only Crash Bandicoots I've never actually played, believe it or not. No manual, but still had the disc. Some are we lucky with, some are wasn't. Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance. And that was complete. True Rock Evolution, I actually have this on the GameCube, uh, but, I mean, I think it's playing, it's playing a PlayStation 2 more than anything, especially lately, and that was complete, I don't remember too much about this game, I just remember how time so far, and Rocky, Rocky Legends, and that was complete, so that was, uh, 10 of those I got from a woman who sold me, sold me 10 of them for £2, and the other ones are like little uh, spare ones I picked up when I was around the other places because I actually hit up two car boot sales this uh, weekend instead of the the one usual one that I go to. The one that I usually go to if you guys in, uh, are living in Glasgow is the Block Elm. Uh, you've probably heard of it. That's a really good boot sale. And then the other one that I go to, I've just started going to, is Paul Medee. So Block Elm and Paul Medee. If you don't know what they are, your parents are probably not sure of them, but it's probably been before with your grandparents or something. 
Um, <coughs> I picked up two original Xbox games. Uh, Star Wars Obi Wan, Obi Wan, Obi Wan, kind of thing. And surprisingly complete. Actually, I was going to spend uh, twelve quid on this game on Amazon, and the nice gentleman sold it to me for a pound. Can't complain. And I picked up Robot Wars Extreme Destruction. I wanted to get this game for a while for the original Xbox, had my eye out for it. And it was complete. And the nice lady sold me this for a quid as well, a pound. That was top. Okay, we are on to the Doobdays. Do you know what Doobdays are? Doobdays. Um, I got Transformers Beast Machines, a complete season 2. Never heard of this before, ever. Heard of Transformers, but never of Beast Machines though. And that came with two DVDs, obviously, because it's uh, set the whole season. They were uh, both had the discs in them. Uh, so that's cool. I'm going to watch these at some point. <coughs> I picked up the Batman Superman movie. The girl I bought it off of didn't have a clue what it was, so I got it for 50 pence. So that, that helped me. I got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the original cartoon series, which is super awesome because I love the turtles. Uh, these are all complete, by the way, guys. They're all got the discs in them. Um, I got the real Ghostbusters, a complete first season. Uh, I just thought you guys may remember this cartoon series, and it had two discs. Two discs. So that was pretty top, because I remember watching this as a kid uh, when I was younger. Watched a lot of this cartoon here. Um, let me see. I got Ninja Turtles The Next Mutation. Never seen this one. Uh, pretty old one from Jetix, but I have never ever seen it. A lot of you are probably saying, but you're a Turtles fan, you must have seen it. No, I really I haven't. There's a woman turtle on it. The only girl I don't really know from Turtles is uh, April. But yeah, I'm going to watch that. I got Mask. Mobile Armored Strike Command. The woman says it's a cartoon from the 80s or something and they remastered it, so right up my street. I got Return to the Bat Cave, which is a. Uh, what is the word I am looking for? A reunion movie of Adam West and Burt Ward. A team Batman and Robin, so that's pretty awesome. And then I picked up. Those of you who live in Scotland or know of it around the world, because it is very popular, still game. This is series 2, episodes 4 to 6. And I got still game, the complete series 5. So I'll be watching those tonight, no doubt. Then a guy that I am very uh, good friends with gave me a set of three DC comics, two from 1995 and one from 96. And it is. The Sovereign 7. Yeah. I really should include these in my. Uh, I probably won't include them in my, my comic. Sh uh, showing off my comic. And then that one. Because that is, that's, that is what I really should do. The show. But I've, they're part of the card that sales show off, so I thought, why not? I'll show, I'll show them in two videos. Maybe you'll see these ones, guys, again in a, a comic book video. Uh, don't be surprised if you see them again. Don't think straight over the show does those, because I know. But I'll probably show them again. Um, <clears throat> these last two things are really big, and my t shirt kind of gives away what they are Joker related. As you guys know, I have a Batman room um, that has slowly started seeing different things uh, appear in the room. But I got two new photos from a room, and the first one, I'll show you this one. This one's a canvas. kind of see that, the light reflects up there. So as you can see, that is the Arkham Asylum uh, Joker, which is pretty neat. I really like this canvas, the colour's brilliant as well. The colour might not come across as well on the, the laptop, but believe me, it is incredible uh, the way the, the um,
it is an incredible uh, bow. Yeah. So yeah, that was good. And I got one more that isn't a canvas. That's actually a framed photo with a glass uh, cover on it. Ooh, I want you guys to like this one. So here we have the Wife of Joker, and in the middle we have the Empire Magazine cover, and around them we have some of the couple of iconic scenes, and then uh, just some different art of them. So as you see up there, seven pounds it says, I got it for five. But yeah, not a well show. So yeah, guys, that was everything that I got at the car boot sale. Um, I've got another car boot sale video coming up because I film everything in advance. So by the time you're watching this, uh, be aware that there may be up for cover. I've got a new show. Uh, there may be a new another new video up just to see what guys watching. I don't know, but stay in the lookout because I don't do car boot sale videos often. Uh, and when I do, I try and get a lot of stuff to show you guys. But yeah, that was basically everything, guys. Just those DVD photos and a few games. Sadly, no toys this uh, this week. But hey ho, I still got a lot of pretty cool stuff. Uh, but yeah, guys, if you enjoyed the video, as always, show some support, smash that like button. Uh, if you haven't already, subscribe. It only takes a second, and you'll be up to date on all my videos. Um, comment in the section below what your favourite thing was I got uh, from this carpet seal, obviously my Joker photos. And until next time guys, I've been the Minute Badger. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out.